In this video I'll explain how to change the space and width of bars in a ggplot2 bar plot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data contains five rows and two columns, whereby the column X contains the groups of our data and the column Y contains the corresponding values to each of these groups. Now, if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines five and six. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line six of the code. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geombar, as you can see in lines eight and nine of the code. And in these lines of code, I'm drawing a ggplot2 bar plot with default specifications. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new bar plot has been created. And as you can see, the width of the bars or the space between the bars is defined by the standard specifications of the ggplot2 package. Now let's assume that we want to decrease the width of these bars. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 11 to 13. So in these lines of code, I'm using basically the same syntax as before. The only thing that I'm changing is the width argument within the geombar function, as you can see in line 13. And in this case, I'm specifying the width argument to be equal to 0.5. So the smaller this value gets, the thinner are the bars in our bar plot. So if you run lines 11 to 13 of the code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that our ggplot2 plot is updated. And as you can see, the space between the bars has been increased, but the width of the bars has been decreased. Now we can also increase the width of our bars using the width argument, as you can see in lines 15 to 17 of the code. So in this case, I'm specifying the width argument to be equal to 0.99. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated once again. And as you can see, in this case, we have shown only a very thin space area between the bars and the bars themselves are relatively thick. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to change the width of bars in a ggplot2 bar plot using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsblob.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail, and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.